21-year-old Nene Ahmed sees herself as a budding artist, something she never would have envisioned some few years ago. Art chose me. I didn't choose it. <laughs> um, because at first I wasn't, I didn't know anything about art. I was not interested in it in any way until I went to school and I had to do art as a subject because I wanted to study architecture. So during my A-levels, I included arts as one of the subjects to create a portfolio for architecture in, in the university. At first, I had to adapt to it. So I wasn't really doing it with like a genuine intention of like studying arts. It was mainly for school, but then at the end of my A-levels, I still got very more interested in it and I wanted to push and research more, find out more about different artists because it's a really wide course. You can do anything with it. And I guess that freedom was what draw, like, dragged me into art. Although she's studying to become a fashion designer at the moment, art has become a passion. Once she became comfortable with her art enough to show people, there was no going back for this young talent. She hopes to use her art to stir people's interest as she believes this craft can be highly profitable for the society. In general, um, I want people to see what I've done or what I'm trying to do and then ask questions about art to get interested in at first because where we in Nigeria, people don't, most people, the general public don't appreciate art the way it should be. They don't see it as anything, anything at all. It's not even a job, it's mostly classified as a hobby. And that really pisses me off. <laughs> so I want people to get more interested in it, ask more questions you know, allow their kids to study it and build like a whole new industry because it's a different way of bringing in money for the economy even though we don't want to recognize it yet. Nena is quick to admit though that while art is still hugely underappreciated in Nigeria, she is beginning to see a change. In Nigeria, I would say generally we have maybe a small group of people that really know and appreciate art then there are others that decide to copy it just because they want to make some money out of it and you won't go far when you're copying someone else's work so it's better when you read about it research know what you're actually doing and then create your own things so people People in Nigeria receive it depending on what situation they're in, so for different reasons. Uh, but mostly, I can say it's growing. People are starting to really open up to it as maybe an art exhibition could be an event or a way to make money or just, I don't know, something else to do aside from work, all the medicine and law and other. She remains optimistic that art will soon get its due in her country, but before that time comes, she lives in the present, doing what she loves and exhibiting to the public. It was amazing. Most, I wasn't expecting the turnout, but thank God for that. There were a lot of people there, and I can say 100% of them were really inspired or they had questions about art or they started to see art in a different light and that alone is a very gives me a very good feeling to continue and push people into it more. While most of her paintings were at the exhibition, one of first was absent as it had been sent to the mayor of Manchester in London who showed an interest in it. A huge achievement and exposure for this fresh artist. Still as a young female artist, Nene receives her share of criticism, but she rarely lets that affect her. 
mostly it's um i'll give you an instance so you go out to an exhibition and then you meet other male artists and then you're introduced as another artist and the first reaction they get is oh really what do you do or what can you do they give you that look because they haven't seen your art they've not they don't know who you are so they feel like because they have not heard your name before you're nothing and well it's it can be very very depressing but i didn't let it affect me because everyone is entitled to their opinion so at the end of the day not everyone is going to love your work there will still be a group of people that will hate it or say bad things about it but that's art it still gets that conversation out and that's okay with me starting out early in her life is something she is happy about and she leaves other young people with a word of advice they should just do it don't let anyone's bad or negative comments stop you from doing what you're doing you won't be perfect no one is perfect <clears throat> it doesn't mean you won't make mistakes but it's the mistakes that you should hold on to because those are the things that drive you to correct yourself to be better as the days go by so hold on to your mistakes because those are the really important um, things in your life or your career or whatever it is you want to do. With a whole future still ahead of her, Nene has only begun and has plans to show her art to the world, one exhibition at a time.